Question 12. The straight line has equation 2y equals 3x minus 7. Find an equation of the straight line perpendicular to L that passes through 6 minus 5. First thing I can see, this is in the form y equals mx plus c. So it makes it a little bit hard to interpret where it is. m here is the gradient, which we're going to need for this question. And d is the y-intercept. We're not going to need this for this question. First thing I'm going to do is rearrange this so it looks like this. I've got y as my subject. So this one's quite nice. I just need to divide everything through by 2. So y is going to be equal to 3 over 2 x take away 7 over 2. So these two lines are the same as each other. I've just divided it through by 2 so it looks like this. And now I can see what the gradient would be. m is the coefficient, the number before the x. So it's 3 over 2. And I want the gradient of the line that's perpendicular to it. So if I have one line, the line that will be perpendicular to it will be the line that crosses at right angles. So the gradient of this line is 3 over 2. It's a positive gradient, so it looks like that. The gradient of this line will be the inverse reciprocal. So what does that mean? It just means that if it's positive, it's going to change to a negative. So my new gradient is negative, and the reciprocal just means it's going to flip. It's going to swap. So it's going to become negative two-thirds. So my new gradient is negative two-thirds. Let's draw a box around that because that's important. We want the line that passes through 6 minus 5. So that's a coordinate here, 6 minus 5. That's my x coordinate and that's my y coordinate. I want to substitute all of these into this equation so that I can find out what this c is, where it crosses the y-axis. And then I can find out what my final equation is. So y here is negative 5 is equal to m, which is negative 2 thirds, x, which is 6, and c, which is the thing that we're trying to find out. So we're going to simplify this. Negative 5 is equal to negative 2 times 6 is negative 12, and negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4 plus c. I need to add 4 to both sides, so it'd be negative 1 is equal to c, and now I have my c value and I have my m value. So I can write out my final equation, y is equal to negative 2 thirds x plus negative 1, which is just negative 1.